made a startling discovery just a couple weeks ago. I was on a morning walk and uh, realized that it had been 40 years since I'd entered chiropractic college. 40 years ago. That's just really amazing. I remember the excitement. I also remember the, the uh, sadness and the loneliness of Sue and I driving off into the sunset, leaving our families and, uh, and our friends behind and the loneliness that we had the whole time we were down there. Uh, but then entering chiropractic college, again, just uh, I couldn't be more excited. I had already been introduced to this wonderful profession by my family. And um, then discovering in first uh, trimester with Dr. Strauss, uh, dear Dr. Strauss, introducing us to the concept of muscle palpation. And uh, my excitement grew, to be honest. I had no idea that such a method existed that was consistent with chiropractic philosophy and relied on a trust for the inherent wisdom of the body. Then to go on and take a deep dive into this method only to struggle with it. Uh, ironically, later on to uh, go on to teach, but at first really uh, had great difficulty learning how to palpate the deep muscles of the spine. And then to uh, have the opportunity to stumble on the underlying mechanism in the stretch reflex, which is based in the, of course, you know, uh, chiropractors know based in the muscle spindles and the ligamentous receptors, and realize the complexity of these mechanisms and uh, the specificity, the precision uh, that this, um, uh, this, this muscle activity would arise from the same muscle of origin, that same muscle would be activated by these stretch receptors so that these muscles that were so intimately associated with the spine would be active on the same level uh, of the subluxation. Uh, not to go too far into, into that, but uh, I was then asked to uh, share that knowledge with other students while I was still there in school, which of course blew my mind. I get asked to um, publish uh, my notes on muscle palpation while I was still a student. And then shortly after graduation, got asked to come back and teach my first seminar. Then, of course, a highlight was being asked by the legendary Dr. Ralph Boone, PhD DC, uh, to um, give uh, to speak at a conference there in Southern California at another chiropractic college, and things just started uh, rolling from there. Um, it, it, it's really amazing to me that here, 40 years later, I'm not only uh, having opportunities to teach chiropractors from around the world, but uh, using this wonderful method in my practice and seeing the results we're getting, but even more so, uh, I, I guess the, the, the peak or the, the, uh, the cherry on top of the cake is working with children and uh, just having the just wonderful kids running around the office and and, and, and how cute they are, how funny they are, and again, having the, the just the honor and the privilege to take care of people's uh, infants and young children and seeing the wonderful results we get with kids and knowing that you're improving the quality of their life just by opening the channels of, their, uh, of communication over the nervous system. It's just been a great ride. Uh, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Sometimes I, I think that chiropractic chose me and I didn't choose this profession just because of all the things that came together when I was young to point me in this direction. And I owe a deep grat, uh, debt of gratitude to uh, my then brother-in-law, Dan Lander, and my sisters and others that just um, kind of nudged me along the way, nurtured me to uh, to go in the direction I went to choose the school that I chose and to shape my career the way that it's uh, unfolded. So thank you to all my patients. Thank you to all those that have trusted me. And, and I'm just blessed to call many of my patients as well as my colleagues, uh, dear friends. And um, I just want to send out a special thank you to uh, Dr. Joe Strauss, who has always been like a father figure to me in this profession. and. Um, has uh, encouraged me along the way and still uh, I see as one of the dearest, uh, most sincere uh, people I know. So uh, bless you, Joe, and uh, thank you to so many.